Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here, and this is a boxing slash unboxing. And I don't mean this kind of boxing. I don't even know how to use these things. Is it like this or is it like that? If it were like that, it'd be like, boom! You feel that punch? <laughs> Get the punchline. So yeah, so the first half is the boxing. Well, I'll be boxing up this bad boy. Yowzers. And a bunch of goodies. Got a bunch of goodies to pack in there. But anyhow, I'm going to kind of show you all the different packing material options and stuff. That's a nice one. And then the second half is going to be an unboxing. I've got one, two, three boxes. Well, two boxes in a bag. To unbox. All right, so let's get started. Boxing and then unboxing. Before we get started, I'd like to do a shout out, a huge shout out to the guys at cbgiddy.com. They keep me supplied in cigar box guitar parts. I am an affiliate, so if you use my link uh, provided in the video description below, you'll be helping support this channel. And if you use my promo code PucketCBG, then uh, you too can get incredible discounts. And together, we will uh, we will solve global warming. <sighs> so I get my boxes from a company called Supply One here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and these are the these are the size of the box, and they're um, they're pretty sturdy boxes. Um, I'm not sure of the code. You could probably tell what the code is by that to get the uh, all the specs and stuff like that. But you. You uh, square them up, right, and then fold them in. Ta I tape one side, which is the bottom side. I like to, I like to have the writing, like this stuff here, on the top, just so that the post office people know the size of it so they don't charge me any more than I have to pay. But then we make sure that all the sides are all taped up like crazy, and then there's a big old strip across the back. And I use the heavy duty, the heavy duty packing tape. I'll probably do three or four of that just to make sure that it's nice and sturdy, especially when it's going overseas. I'll pack this thing to the boot. Oh yeah, and these things here are seamed. They got a seam right there. So I typically like to put just an extra layer of protection there. Cause some, sometimes I've seen these things come apart. Uh, majority of the time, no, but every once in a while, kind of get a little bit of separation there. So I just make sure that that, uh, I get some extra tape there. And then I just pack it with whatever I have on hand. Typically it's um, wadded up newspapers. But I also save packing materials when pa people send me stuff. So bubble wrap is always good, dude. You can never... Ah, where's my strength? Come on. Um, big bubbles. Oh yeah, these are awesome, dude. These are awesome. This air comes directly from China. Um, do, you know, do you guys know what that says? What does that say? You crazy Americans. Um, a lot of times I throw in goodies. This one here happens to be a... Uh, Got all sorts of blues artists in here. It's even got some awesome artwork, man. Check that out. So I like to put in goodies as well. Now this particular this particular box, like I said, it's getting uh, it's getting this guitar. I'm also throwing in a couple of mystery gifts. Okay, this one here, um, I'm gonna flash it to you real quick. That one's going in there. Um, a complimentary Pucket Cigar Box Guitar T. This is a tan version, I got, I got four colors. 
Uh, four colors. I got four colors. I got one, two, four colors. Black, white, tan, and gray. This one here is a tan. So you can spill your coffee on that. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. And these are the sleeves from my CB Giddy shirt that we cut off. Why are we putting in it? Dude, who knows, man? These could be hankies. These could be um, pankies. These could be hats. I mean, if you got in a pinch, you could. these could double as underwear, perhaps. I mean, seriously, there's so... Dude, when it comes to being creative, the sky is the limit. I'm sure you can come up with... Um, hey, you, ne you never know when you blow your nose. You need to blow your nose, and it's and it's uh, and it's bleeding, and you don't want anybody to know. You just get one of these guys and blow your nose, and no one will ever know you have a nosebleed. Especially after you've been in the face. Um, what else? I know I had some other goodies in here. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me pull all this stuff out of here. More goodies. Just for kicks, I saved the little notch for here. The notch that cut out for that. That one's going in there. Some of the uh, beautiful artwork from these Cuban boxes. The uh, instructions on how to take care of your cigars. There's no cigars in here, but this is just kind of a neat little, nifty little um, reminder that in his past life, in this guy's past life, it used to actually be a cigar box. So that's going in there. And then I always like to include a bag of picks. It's got the John 316 heart pocket picks in there. I got the sticker, um, cbgiddy.com website. And that's a smash penny. You can't see it because the smash penny's on the other side, but that is actually one of those um, guitars that I got from Disgraceland. Shout out there. So yeah, so this box here is getting a bunch, a bunch of goodies. And then once it's all said and done, I get my uh, extra heavy duty packing tape, which I'll sit out here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Pack it all up. And then um, typically write out the address in huge letters with a sh Sharpie so, that, so people can see it from outer space. And then I, of course I take a picture of it and then take it down to the... United States Post Office. I love using the United States Post Office. Why? Um, I've had bad. I've had bad encounters with FedEx. Nothing personal. Plus, they charge a freaking arm and a leg. And not that I really care about it, but I mean, for the uh, the amount of hassle that I got to go to, it's not worth it for me to pay the extra money. So anyhow, that's it. I use the United States Post Office. And then, of course. Tracking numbers. Tracking numbers are important. The very first thing I do, do is fire off the tracking numbers. Why? Because um, the sooner I do it, then the, the sooner, number one, the customer has it, but the, I kind of feel like I'm off the hook a little bit. Um, but anyhow, you, you always want to see why A and tracking numbers. Having the tracking numbers is always, always a good thing to see why A. Do you guys know what that stands for? You don't? <laughs> seriously seriously you don't know what that is uh go look it up on wikipedia cya boxing video take 4678 boxing video take 467 first off you need a rusty 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 dull razor why? So that if an accident happens, you get tetanus. That's why. <clears throat> this first box is from, says Patterson from Green Valley, Arizona. What could it be now? It does say fragile all over the place here. Boom, fragile. All right, drum roll. Guys, sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised and sometimes I'm terrified. A note. I 
My Dell Enclosed are some of my glaze tests that I think would work for your slides. Hmm, slide. You will see uh, a little number on the bottom. That is the data number. I also knocked out a few star spangled units. Star spangled, yeah, okay. Guys, I'm, 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 it's not that I'm illiterate, it's just that I'm trying to read the, read this font. And some of the letters look different. Okay, I have some more testing in the future. If you like these, I will send them to you. Way, I up, uh, wait, I will send them your way. I end up tossing them out after pho photographing. Also, a few of my necktie guitar straps. <laughs> I think they are a hoot. Thought you'd, you'd get a kick. Also, I have over... I don't know what that word is. Over something. Overruns for an East Coast client and stuck in a few mugs for Mrs. Puckett. Oh, she'll love that. Hope to meet you someday. Cheers. Jeff Patterson, Green Valley, Arizona. All right, dude, I'm going to re I'm going to uh, reply to this email with a link to this video cuz you're getting a shout out, dude. Hey, some some more packing material. Yay! We know where that's going, right? Paper. Okay, some slides. Yeah, okay, I need a drum roll. Oh, dude, look at that. Guys, seriously? Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to try this out at the end of this video. I've been trying to use my slide on my pinky just because um, it feels good. I mean, it does. And I can still grab it with this other finger and get control like that. And that gives me these three strong fingers to like fret and then slide up when I need to. But guys, doesn't that just look... Man, it looks like candy, bro. Hello. Dude, that is awesome. Oh, this one here has got like a gloss finish and this one's got like a satin finish. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is the gloss and the satin. Oh, say can you see? All right, this is going to be an awesome box, dude. I can tell it's heavy, so I know there's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff. Oh, here's the neckties. Can you imagine a strap out of a necktie? How cool is that? Why didn't I think of that? Dang. Okay. Oh, and it's got the little, it's got the little buttonhole on this side for your. Okay. Um, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> or I'll just use it as a necktie. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep everything separated here. Uh, some mugs, 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 mugs. Where's that rusty knife? Oh, dude, come on, man. Come on. How thoughtful is that? Dude, All it says here, just add hot water or a milk or a milk. See that fire over there? I think I'm going to um, put some water just because I got it right here right now. <sighs> Not too much. I like the chocolate rate. I like the ratio of chocolate to water to be more chocolate, less water. All right, hang on. Candy. I mean that right now. Hmm. Top. Probably the top of your coffee cup. Keep it warm. That's a great idea. Another necktie. Dude, these are awesome. Another slide. Oh, dude, look at that. Come on. You guys are too too kind. Too kind. But dude, look at the detail in that. Can you see the, the stars? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's some good work, dude. That's next level cool.
Dude, if I break one, I have another one to fall back on. My thing, my thing has always just been glass wine bottle tops. I just cut the tops off a wine bottle and then file the edges smooth. But this one here, the edges are already smooth to begin with. Um, top side is really smooth. The bottom side is little, not, not quite as smooth, but um, man, the top side is like glass, man. It's like a purple fuchsia, kind of a dark purple. Beautiful. I wonder if the color affects the tone. Oh, wow. That one looks like a, a pumpkin pie right there. Oh, so I guess these are the date, date codes on here, or the data codes. Yeah, this one's got a satin finish. I bet you the satin finish versus the glossy finish definitely affects the tone. I'll have to play around. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Look at the color swirls in that. You got blues, dark greens, light greens, some yellow up here on the tip. Different different shades of blue. And it and there's a dimension to it. You can actually look and see like layers of everything. Wow, that is just like translucent. That's it right there. Translucent. And again, smooth. Mm, wow. Okay, that, that's obviously the data. The data number he's talking about. But you can even see this, the color on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Man, that's cool. There's another top, just like this, double. His and hers. More cocoa. Uh-oh. I see a chip. I see a chip. Something got broke. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, no. This cup got broke. Oh, man. It wasn't me, man. I was delicate. I was delicate. I could probably glue it together. Oh, man. Yeah, that crack goes all the way down. That's bad. That's probably me, dude. Probably missed rough handling it there. Oh, there's another one here. There's another one. So I got three. Four. There's four of them. Okay. So two made it. Three made it. Three, three, three cups made it, and they all got the, the cocoa. One of them didn't. Hey, but I can still tape it up and use this for, like, uh, put all my pens in, whatnot. My sharpies. More uh, neckties. I got a few. Oh my god. These are awesome, dude. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to wear them as neckties. I'm going to freak people out. One more slide, and that's it for this box. Mmm, chocolate. That is chocolate, dude. That is marshmallows melted in chocolate. Maybe I need to get some marshmallows for this stuff here. Yeah, that is absolutely good. I could test, taste it. Mmm. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Seriously, dude, this is this is a this is a treat I'm on multiple levels, dude. Multiple levels. I'll let you. I'll definitely let you know how it goes for these necktie things, uh, necktie straps. What a cool idea! I, I've I've always toyed around with the idea of maybe doing um, uh, seat belts. In fact, I got a few of them there. I just I just never got around to making the connectors right. But uh, seat belts are always cool. But I, I'm I'm always looking for roadkill ropes and straps and bungees and uh, wire just whatever whatever I can find but this is a great idea seriously this is this is this is legitimately too cool all right moving on to the next box this next box is actually a bag and I know what is in it in here because I ordered this myself and man this thing came in the mail so fast it's like I had no idea uh, the problem is where I'm at now is I have a post office box and some of these companies only deliver to physical addresses. This is one of them. And so there's this, I got scolded by the uh, post office lady. She put a note on here that's saying, 
you can't do that. It's like, I, so I had to go down there and tell her that um, I tried. I tried to do the post office box, but it kept turning red on me, so I couldn't. I couldn't do that. All right, so this this is the shirt that I ordered for myself. And you guys want to see it? Do you want to see it? All right, this is unveiling here, right here, right now. I got extra large here. Three chords in the truth. And I did my research. I guess that came from a um, gentleman. Uh, I forget the, forget his name, but he's he's credited for coming up with the uh, term. There's been songs about it. It's been like a famous quote in movies and books and stuff like that. I think even you two uh, put this into one of their songs on their Rattle and Hum album. But three chords in the truth. Dude, seriously, that's all you need is three chords and the truth. So I'll be wearing that. Well, I'll probably wash it because the extra large looks, it looks a little extra, extra, extra large. It did say size up one because the size run small. So uh, either way, I am looking forward to wearing that. And last but not least, so Shane Spiel. Do you guys know who Shane Spiel is? Shane Spiel? He's like a famous, he's actually the king of the cigar box guitar. Well, anyhow, so he's uh, he's working with uh, CBGiddy.com, and um, so yeah, so he's gonna he's giving me ideas on how to up my game, how to level up my um, online presence and all that stuff. So anyhow, I'll be um, hopefully we'll see. Going forward, we will definitely see how things improve. Um, Anyhow, so he he was he was excited to send me some packing more packing material. Um, all so so as as of the recording of this video today is Tuesday. It's toward the end of February. I'm not sure the exact date, the number date. I should know. I think it's either the 24th or the 25th. I'm not sure, but it is a Tuesday. Now two days from today, so Wednesday Thursday. Um, CB Giddy has some big announcement that they that they're changing. They're I, I'm guessing based on what little information I have, I, I think they're they're changing the reward rewards program. And um, so I'll be curious to see what that what that is. Oh, here's here's the list inventory list. I think I'm gonna blow that off because I want to open I want to open the box and then be surprised. I don't want to read the inventory list and have the surprise ruined. So the first things first is. Okay, I think this is, I think this is, yeah, okay, this is, this is a, okay, here's a backstory on this, guys. I have been bugging the guys at CB Guinea to come up with a, a work apron because you'd go to their, to, to their site and they advertise that they had a work apron, but they would never, they never had it. So I always put in the little comment section, hey, you guys need to do the work apron. Well, dude, somebody... Somebody was reading my comment section. Hey, it matches my black hat. All right, guys. What does that say right there? Something along the lines of that. All right, guys. A huge shout out to the guys at CB Giddy. Oh, okay. Look, more fretting skills. Oh, okay. We got, we got parts and parts and parts and parts. Jacks. Okay, you guys want to... Okay, I'll open it up for you all. And guys, they just... Shane just sent this to me for free, guys. So, so sh huge shout out to Shane. To Shane Spiel. <laughs> Look at that picture. He looks... I won't say it looks ugly, but he looks kind of mean, dude. Come on. Um. <laughs> Yikes. Shane, it does look like you, Shane. It does. It kind of, I see the resemblance, dude. Uh, the king of the cigar box guitar. I, I tell Shane all the time, dude, I says, you're the, you're the king of the cigar box guitar. And I'm, I'm not the queen. I am the pawn. Yeah, I'll be a pawn any day. Um, this here is a parts pack. Oh, I bet this is a kit. I bet this is a kit. I bet you this is a kit. Yep, it's a, it's a Mutant Guitars parts pack. Oh, the name, this is awesome, Mutant Guitars. 
Okay, it's got instructions and everything. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna this will be fun. This will be a fun build. They're using a oh, it looks like a pick. Hmm. I always wanted to do one out of an axe, a real axe. And there's got Shane's logo again there. Okay, yeah, so I can tell right now it's got everything that I need for it. It's got the jack. It's got the jack, the pickup, the humbucker. The uh, adjustable bridge. This is one of those recess jacks. I've never used one of these, but maybe I, I gonna have to now. Strap buttons. So yeah, so here, oh yeah, it's even got the bolt. It's even got the bolt. All right, so that's gonna be that's gonna be something right there. The mutants. Shane Spiel's Signature Mutant Guitar Parts Pack. What a great idea. That is a great idea. Um, I bet you these are... Okay, these are templates. Yep. We got 24, 25, 25.5. It goes from 24... 25.5 on the size of this thing here so add that to my collection i turn the lights off in the back there so you can't see it right now okay we got all sorts of oh check this out <clears throat> reverend payton i saw these guys um on the vans warp tour i think it was 2011 i got to see these guys like all summer long on that vans warp tour i was um chaperoning and i was the uh, bus driver from for my daughter's band poema at the time um, cigar box guitar strings. Look at that dude. You you would not want to tangle that dude. I guarantee you, you would come out on the losing end. One. Oh look at here. Shane Shane's got his own signature strings here. He's got he's got multiple packs here. I guess. Um, bombastic low rock cigar box guitar strings. South Bounders. Nice thing about these guys is that they're made in America. Made in the USA. Yeah, well, so he does have more than one, dude. Cool. Thank you, Shane. Seriously, thank, thank you hugely. Thank you bigly. Oh, I got another mug, dude. Today's mug day. same logo as that or the same verbiage this one's cool man this is like one of those tra traditional style mugs i got another one kind of sort of like that around here somewhere of course now that i'm looking for it i'll never find it yes because i just cleaned up i just cleaned up put it away darn it okay but anyhow yeah it's similar to this i'll find i'll find it and show it to you guys but isn't that just that is Elegant and cool. It's just downright cool. Mm, I can already taste the coffee already, dude. Dude, thank you guys. Uh oh, you guys know what this is for, right? Hard times make great music, same thing, right? But this one here is a pint mug last but not least size large that's my size right there huge shout out to the guys at cbgiddy.com seriously I am so glad to be part of uh, what you guys got going on there, dude. I, I uh, feel the love, man. I do feel the love. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this boxing slash unboxing video. I know I, I did enjoy making it. Um, yeah, I got I got to clean up this mess here now. Oh, yeah, my coffee. My, or not my coffee. My, my cocoa. Hold on. You know what I was thinking about doing? Since we got all these mugs here, where's it at here? It's uh, right. I got 
got a box full of goodies. And um, here's my reading glasses and my razor. So what I can do with this guy, and see if I can even, see if I can pull this off here. This uh, requ this requires surgical abilities. So we got the Puckett CBG or logo right here. Can you believe that uh, established in 2014? Dude, we're coming up on 10 years now. It's on my cocoa mug now. Yeah, I did mix that up. And it's nice and hot. Got a knife that my buddy Bob Monclovia made for me. Cheers, guys. We'll see you in the next video.